Hey guys, welcome back to Woods Tree Farm. Today we are going to plant our second uh, photo patch of sunflowers. I call it the photo patch because we are away from our main you pick area and if people want to come over here when we're open for picking and pick flowers from here that's fine but the primary reason we are putting a patch over here is for photography and so we can book photographers over here. So this patch we're going to split in half and we're going to do black oil sunflowers on half of it. Those are the same sunflowers that we did in e another part of the property a couple weeks ago and then the other half of this I'm going to do in a blend of sunflowers, but I'll show you later in the video what those seeds look like because they're completely different than the black oil seeds. First thing we're going to do is get some fertilizer on the ground and then we're going to retail this and then we can get planting. Last week this plot was tilled. I actually uh, plowed it first so it was real rough and I just wanted to break it up. So I had this back gate way open so it would just do a rough till and the tiller could just go through the material as quick as possible and that's why if you look out over this plot now it still looks somewhat chunky. So I'm going to drop this down now which just involves letting this chain out of its little catch here and when that gate is closed as the tiller is working, that soil is going to stay inside the tiller longer and give us a finer till, which is going to be a lot easier to push that garden cedar through once it's all tilled up. So let's get to work. So I've showed this a bunch of times before. We're just using the Earthway Garden Cedar here. We're gonna start out with the black oil seed. I only did half the plot so far. We're gonna put a whole bunch of rows up and down in line with the rows that I just tilled. We're gonna go about 12 to 18 inches apart. We're just eyeballing it and we'll fill this plot in and then I'll show you the seed that I'm putting on the other side. Three, two, one, go. Yep. Yeah, because of your footprint, the footprint is gonna do some bumps. You can lift the whole machine up if you have to. I don't. So all those rows are done. I actually went to get water, left my hat over there, and that's why I switched hats. And while I was gone, my son finished up all the rows. So that was awesome. Huge help. We're going to do half of this second half, a quarter of this to total plot now, with these new seeds, and here's what I got. So in this mason jar right here are seeds that we saved from last year, and we had this Autumn Beauty mix, and we also had another small seed packet called a Crazy Mix, and we kind of planted them all together, and then the flowers that came up in those rows that we liked the most, we saved seed from and mixed them all together in this jar. So that's what I have here. So you can see there's a variety of colors and sizes in that jar, and because of that, because it's all different sizes, we're not going to use the garden cedar. So these these rows are going to plant a lot slower than those ones and that's part of the reason we're only going to do part of this patch behind me today. The other reason is that there's a staggered maturity dates with these different flowers in here. I want to have these multicolored flowers blooming over here for at least several weeks so we're going to stagger uh, two halves over here and um, you know plant part of it today and come back in about 10 days or so and plant the other half. So now the cedar's empty. We're just going to use this to define our rows and then we'll drop our seed by hand. Stuck right there. So we've got one row defined, left the cedar up there. So after we drop the seed in the first one, we'll just bring it back down and we'll continue. So uh, 
here's the seed. Let me give you kind of an up close what it looks like. And in that mix there, see if that comes into focus. In that mix, we've got just all different sizes. Some are striped, some are not. So there's all different colors in here. And I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like when we get about six or eight weeks from now when this uh, starts pushing blooms. We're just gonna drop them about every eight to 10 inches. So Which every other foot. My hand is about nine. So like that. If some are six and some are 12, it doesn't matter. Just do it. The last thing we do just use this little metal rake here and I found that this works just fine you can just drip, pretty much drag the rake over the rows it puts just enough soil on top of the seeds and everything's good to go I was just about to call it quits and I remembered there was a couple other things I wanted to tell you. Also, I didn't film a closing and say goodbye and thanks for watching and all that good stuff. So <laughs> here I am back at the camper getting ready to cook some dinner and uh, move on to our next thing for the evening. The second half of that plot where we were putting the seed down by hand took at least three times longer. So it was over an hour to do that section and it was less square footage. The other section took us about 20, 25 minutes with the cedar. Uh, so you can tell that if you have a cedar and the seed that you have will run through a cedar, it is so much more efficient than planting by hand. But uh, that's what we had to do with that seed and I think it'll work out just fine. The other things I wanted to hit on in this video are, um, I always get some questions when I plant sunflowers and uh, I wanted to address a couple of those questions here. The first one is, do we have a problem with squirrels or birds eating the seed? I have not experienced that. So if you saw my last video, I showed uh, how many of the sunflowers are coming up of the first patch that we did this year. It's coming up great. It's coming up thick. There's no evidence to me that there is significant bird theft or squirrel theft going on in that patch. The other question I get all the time is, what do I do for weed control? And in those bigger patches like that, probably not going to do anything. If there are any sections that are really, really bad, or sometimes we get those really tall uh, pokeberry bushes, at least that's what I call them. It's big fat green leaves with the, they make purple berries. Uh, if I get a lot of that, I might go in there and pull them by hand. And if there are other sections that are really heavy with weeds and I think it needs attention, I might go in there with a backpack sprayer and just spot spray up and down some of the rows. But more than likely for that type of patch, I'm not going to do anything. When it comes to our actual U-Pick patch, our spacing will be a little bit different and we will have larger aisleways which creates more space for weeds to grow and in those sections I do more weed control and in past years I've done it with picking by hand and with spraying with backpack sprayer up and down the rows. This year we're going to experiment with some ground cover so we'll see how that works and hopefully that eliminates uh, a lot of the chemical and a lot of the manual labor involved in weed control for us. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, guys. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next video, and I will absolutely keep you posted in future videos of how these flowers are doing. So if you don't already subscribe, hit that red button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.